Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. You can see behind me, we got a new RC on the table. Let's get this thing out of the box and see what it's all about. So here it is, the new Latrax Rally by Traxxas. It's a 118 scale. We've been looking for something a little bit smaller to drive around on the track in the back. And with the new track coming that we're building, this will be perfect for it. It's a little four-wheel drive rally car. Um, all weather, comes ready to run, comes with all the batteries, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a great little car, I think. We should have a lot of fun with it. Comes with a lot of colors. We got the orange, as you can see. Just like all the big stuff. It's got all weather electronics, that kind of stuff. It's a pretty good little thing. It's a four-wheel drive, like I said. Waterproof system. It's got a little Latrax battery, specially made for it. I'm sure you can use other things. Um, front and rear differentials. It's got uh, a full adjustable shocks, independent suspension. It's a, I think it should be a good little car. Um, one of the definite things we're going to do, I do know it has slick tires on it. We're definitely going to have to find ourselves a, uh, a set of dirt tires. See what we can find on the old Scamazon. Um, comes with its own little radio. Uh, it should be a good little car, I think. So give us a second, we'll find our knife, we'll yank this thing out of the box, see what else it has inside. So there we go, we got her yanked out of the box. It's a, a nice looking little car, I have to say. Comes with your regular uh, Traxxas remote, just got a nice little Latrax sticker on it there. And of course, comes with all the, the regular Traxxas stuff, got your manual. Even comes with batteries for your remote this time. Comes with a little 6 volt battery. And then it comes with a little charger that we're just going to judge and throw into the pile of the rest of the chargers. We'll uh, get this thing plugged into the, the Easy Peak Plus that we use over here. Get this body yanked off and we can talk about this car a little bit better. So like we were saying before, it's got a nice full little independent suspension. Looks like it's going to do pretty good out there on the track. Uh, looks like you can, uh, I'll see if I can zoom you in here a little bit better. Looks like you can... Uh, do all your body mounts, raise all your body mounts up and down a little bit if you need to, uh, which we may need to out there on the track. It's a little bit rough, uh, it's smooth in some good spots, so we should be able to take this thing out for a good little rip out there. Jumps might be a little bit big, but we'll go for it anyway. Obviously, all your waterproof electronics, all that kind of stuff. Um, it comes with like a 370 turn motor. Uh, I don't know if they're oil-filled shocks, to be honest. I don't believe they are. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, nice little battery tray there. And they are just a little set of uh, like smooth rubber tires. They might be okay out there for us to go play around a little bit. But we're going to have to find ourselves a little set of dirt tires, that's for sure. Um, if you have any idea on what we should buy, if it's something you've already bought, let us know down in the comments. We'd, uh, we'd definitely like to know. Um, but it, it should be a fun little car out there. Got a little nice little foam bumper. You know, your regular Traxxas connectors. So that way, when we do decide to upgrade this thing to brushless, which we're definitely going to do in the future, we do uh, upgrade a nice little set of shocks, that kind of things. Um, it should be a fun little build and a fun little car. It's got some got some good weight to it, so I think it should uh, rip around pretty good out there. So give us a little bit. We'll finish getting this battery charged up, and then we'll head out to the track and see what this thing has. So we waited till it cooled down a little bit before we came out to the back track. And, uh, of course, just like us, if you need any RC cars, make sure you go see our friends at Echelon Hobbies. They're great friends of ours, not a sponsored ad. We pay for everything just like you guys, but they're great there. Uh, we'll, we'll drop a picture of their card here so you can see their address. You can order from them online. If you're not in our area, they'll ship it right out to you. Um, like I said, we'll drop a couple pictures of maybe, you know, uh, what the inside of their store looks like. And if you can see in behind me, we're starting a dirt oval track back there because we got another car coming up here really, really soon. If you're a big Traxxas enthusiast, I'm sure you already know what it is. So give me a second. We're going to turn this camera around. I don't think we'll set it up. We'll just probably see if we can drive and follow it along because I'm not sure if this little car is going to make it over these big jumps or not. Um, we may end up having to make a special track just for these little things. Or maybe that little flat oval behind us will be a good little thing. Or uh, this will be a good little thing for that to run on. Time will tell, I guess. So give us a minute and we'll start ripping around this track for a minute and see how this car does.
So we did go ahead and raise the body up a little bit, uh, raise the shocks up and lifted the body a little bit to hopefully help us get around this track a little bit. Like I said, this track's not the smoothest, so I'm not sure if this little car is gonna do all so well over those big jumps and stuff, but uh, we'll give it a few little rips and see what it does. Grab the controller here. All right, let's see what this little thing's got. <laughs> Getting stuck on a couple of those uh, little rocks already. Got a little hang up there. Maybe we'll have to take this thing out onto the pavement road and see how it does out there in a few minutes after this little thing. The steering servo is definitely not the greatest, that's for sure. Give her a little kick here. Yeah, she gets a, as long as it's on a flat dirt, she does okay. Get, get hung up on anything on the side or any of those uh, kind of rocks. She definitely doesn't want to go anywhere. Oh, I think we got a little bit of grass stuck in there. Get that out of there. Still stuck on something. What do we got going on here? There we go. Okay. Take our, take our, really, and you're gonna have to make ourselves a, a nice flat spot to try this thing out, obviously. In, these tires I don't think are, uh, are meant for dirt. We're gonna have to get ourselves some sort of dirt tires. If you guys know of anything, please let us know. Drop that down in the comments. I guess if you really, if you really keep the speed up, then that's, uh, then she'll, she'll go through the, the dirt, that kind of thing. But yeah, you, you really gotta, uh, really gotta keep the speed up or she just gets hung up on the littlest thing. Oh, she went over the jump and landed, but uh, did not do it gracefully, that's for sure. That was a little bit better. Well, uh, just give me a second, I'll set this camera up and we'll, we'll go back a couple of times over this jump and see what this thing has. Let's hit this jump with a little bit of speed and see what this thing does. Oh, it landed okay. A lot better than I thought it was gonna do. Uh, like I said before, def definitely need some sort of tires. These little uh, soft driver tires are good, but definitely not good for this kind of thing. Oh, we're hung up on the other side. Can't seem to get enough traction to get going to really give this thing much of a jump. I'm gonna grab the car. We'll uh, take it one over the, see if the other side there is a little bit flatter for this thing or not. All right, let's give this little side a run. Oh, stuck right off the bat. Oh no. This thing's just not made for this type of track, unfortunately. We know they, uh, they call it a rally car, but I don't think it's made for this kind of a rally track, unfortunately. Try her one more time here. Yeah, she just, she's just spinning away, unfortunately. All right, so give us a second. We'll uh, take this thing out to the front See if we can rip it around in the pavement driveway for a minute. And then we'll head back inside, give our final thoughts, we'll let you know what we're gonna do to this thing. Here we are out front. We just took a line of our old tires set up here, so maybe we can turn some laps on the pavement here and see if this thing is any better on the pavement than it is on the dirt. Oh, she's sliding on the dirt over there. I'm not gonna say she's... Can't say she's any better on the pavement. It's definitely something to do with that steering servo. She just wants to. She 
see if she goes any better this way. Oh, I think we're playing our steering trim a little bit here. Maybe that'll help. Oh, I think we got something stuck underneath it. Don't, uh, not sure if you can see it down in there. We got a little tiny rock stuck in there. So give us a second, we're going to find something to poke this out with. There we go. We got that rock yanked out of there. So, so it sounds like there's something going on in there. Yeah, there's there's definitely something going on in there. We're gonna some some going on right here in the back. We're gonna have to uh, see if that rock did something to our poor rear axle or or what's going on here. We'll take this thing in the shop, yank it apart, give our final talk about it, and uh, we'll let you know what we think. So back in the shop. And uh, I think with a few upgrades, definitely need to do something with that steering servo. Definitely need to do tires. And I think a better set of shocks. This thing could probably be a lot of fun. Um, we have our boy, he's 15. He enjoyed driving it outside with me for a little bit. I think this is something we might build up for him to have a little bit of fun with. Um, as you can see, we ripped off that foam bumper. It just scrapes and gets in the way a heck of a lot. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we're going to find a few upgrades. Build this thing up a little bit. And I think it could be a heck of a lot more fun. Could we have done a little bit better for $200? Probably. I'm sure there's lots of other things out there that we could have spent our money on, but this is a lot of fun. So as always, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. Comments for this car, like tires, if you know a better, uh, maybe we can do a brushless upgrade, obviously shocks, that kind of thing, drop them down in the comments for us. And if you could, Give us a big thumbs up and share this video to all your friends, anybody else that likes RC cars. Hopefully we can start taking over this world. But uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you again next week.